<laughs> Kinnison too just took over. You I saw him in the moment. It was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, I got to see Kinnison decline too. Uh -huh. I got to see the decline because I saw him a couple of times live and the last time I saw him live It was in New Hampshire and uh -huh. there was not that many people there. I, I uh -huh. drove to this theater with this girl that I was dating I was probably 20 at the time uh -huh. again. It was before I did comedy and he was just it was already like Booze and heavy. Yeah, and yeah. it wasn't as good. You right. Know? He was because he peaked in 86 I okay. feel like the Kinnison from 86 is probably one of the greatest comedians that ever lived, if not the best. He was a monster. Mm -hmm. He was a monster. Yeah. But the guy was doing blow and right. drinking and yeah, hanging yeah, yeah. out with rock stars yeah, and yeah, just yeah. partying. And he, his brother wrote about it. Do you ever read his brother's book? Uh -uh. Brother Sam? Right, right. His brother heard Bill. About it. right. It's a great book. Yeah. It's a great book. If you're a fan of stand-up, I tell anybody, go buy that book because it's a great book. And... Bill said that you could see the drop off in Sam's material because he just stopped writing. He, right. He wasn't hungry anymore. Right. He right, had right. made it. Instead, yeah. you know, because there's this like there's this hunger inside of him to make it as a comedian, and yeah. that's what led him to be outrageous. And yeah. Do all those jokes about like the starving kids in Africa right, and right, all these yeah. different jokes he did that yeah. were just so outrageous, and yeah, that yeah. preacher's voice yes. and that fucking powerful Perfect. delivery. Yeah. But then when he made it, man. He got real fat and just just drinking every night. Yeah, he was. He was started wearing the bandana, slower, the right. bandana days, the rock star sure, days. Sure. It just dropped off. It wasn't the same. It's, it was like a caricature of Kinnison. That's funny. Yeah, it just happens. It happens that when you're drinking or doing whatever the fuck it was. I I, so I got a lot of coke. coke. Yeah, sure. I think that's the that's the one that really like. Well, that makes you not people. think straight. You're yeah. definitely all over the place. You fucking uh -huh. you, can't, you can't stay steady with a thought. Yeah. And. Uh, but I, I remember I met him a couple times. Paulie Shore was very tight with him. Yeah. And I knew Paulie, and I hung out with Kinnison a couple times. But uh, but I saw him at the Improv the last time I saw him, and he had he was a little little he was so sweet, like he was so nice to me, and he remembered that we hung a little bit. You know, I was a young fucking dummy, and he was nice to me, and uh, he had that that kind of glazed had a few too many yeah. in the eyes but he was just he definitely was when he walked into the fucking improv that night every comedian was like well holy shit there he is the right. fucking man right you know it was cool he, he changed comedy he yeah. really did because yeah. there was no comedy like that before Kennison came around he was a different kind of comedy mm -hmm. it's like all of a sudden comedy was like you could yell you know? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah like, ah, Oh my he god, was, that he was, was just the biggest a force. He was just like, it, and the preacher's yeah. voice, that thing that he had, a, where he had that charisma of being this yes, tent yes. revival preacher. Yes, yes. And when he would talk quiet, oh, well, yeah. and then yeah. all of a sudden blast the shit bla out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god.